Hi, I'm Cassie Kozarkov, and this is a quick demo of how to take random samples from statistical distributions in R. I made this little walkthrough for you for a blog post, so maybe this video isn't super self-contained. Do check out the link in the description below for the blog posts that talk about simulation and why this is such a powerful technique. So let's jump in. So here I have R up and I'm already loading in the package, setting my random seed, which allows me to reproduce what I did. And then I'm going to take 10,000 draws from the standard normal distribution. I'm gonna put that in a data frame. Uh, that's for, for the plotting later. Uh, then I will show you the data and let's round that to two decimal places so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, then I'm gonna plot it and so you can see a nice histogram with the density estimate overlaid over it. That's a nice standard normal distribution. Let's change up the standard deviation, make it wider and narrower. And there it is. And now if we put that back to standard normal, rerun it with the same seed, we get the original data. And if we remove those parameter settings, now we get the same thing, same defaults, because those were the defaults. Changes ever so slightly when you run it again. And now we're going to do a different distribution, which is the random uniform from 0 to 1. So this is pick a number, any number between 0 and 1. Let's change the color to something fun like forest green. And hit it. And this is a completely different distribution. Let's do the same thing with parameters minus 5, plus 5. And that's a wider distribution back to zero to one. And we're gonna remove those axis limits because we're gonna play with some other distributions here. So we can see that the distribution looks kind of the same uh, if we let those axis limits roam around when we change the min and the max. Now let's try something fun like the beta distribution. We're gonna do the shape parameters to two to 10 for a right skewed distribution. By the way, the naming of skew is, kind of, is counterintuitive. It's not where most of the distribution is. It's the opposite. And now let's try skewing that, making a left skewed version. Let's try a different distribution again, gamma. And gamma needs prettier color like magenta. So that's our gamma shape 10 scale half distribution. Now we'll try some discrete distributions like the Poisson distribution. And yes, having the density estimate over it makes no sense. Don't worry, I'll get rid of that in a moment. But here comes Poisson with the lambda set to 20. Let's choose our fun purple color. And we can see that those are all discrete counts there, not decimal places. Let's change that lambda to 200 and we'll see those counts are around 200 now, not around 20. And there's no decimals anymore, they're counts. Let's try a different distribution, the binomial distribution. Think of that as coin tosses. We're gonna do a coin toss with a probability of half and uh, size one just gets it to be a series of regular coin tosses. And yes, that purple makes absolutely no sense. Let's change the probability to 0.3 and see what happens. And we'll also remove that purple and then to 0.2 and 0.1. And let's say that we didn't want those ones and zeros. We wanted some other labels like uh, good and gross because we were tasting coffee and we were like, this cup is good, this cup is gross. So that's very, very easy to do here in R. So we're just simply going to change that numerical label to text. And it's very flexible. You can have it simulate whatever you like. And then feel free to summarize it in a table for yourself. And we can see here the counts. That's what table gives you is the counts. We get about a thousand goods and about 9,000 grosses, which is working as intended with our probability of 0.1 or 10%. So that was a quick demo of how to simulate an R. And if you found this useful, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do check out my blog posts in the links below. And see you next time.